No, this name doesn't come from the fact that the islands that make up the Virgin Islands are just full of virgins. Like a lot of the Caribbean, we have Christopher Columbus to thank for this name. When Christopher Columbus discovered the Virgin Islands for himself, he named them after St. Ursula. Wait, so if it's named after St. Ursula, why aren't they called the Ursula Islands? Well, this is due to the story of St. Ursula. Well, what we think we know about her tale. The tale goes that she was based in Britain and was engaged to a man of high regard. It was on her journey from Britain to Europe to meet her man she built a following of fellow virgins. It's believed that following her virgins amassed 11,000. However, the story goes that when she and her virgins arrived in Cologne, they were massacred for refusing to sleep with the men of Cologne. Regardless of what's fact and fiction with this story, it's this tale of Ursula the Virgin and her followers that Columbus went to when naming these islands he found. Now, that's how they became known as the Virgin Islands, but of course there's way more to it than all that. All these islands aren't simply one nation called the Virgin Islands. In fact, they are divided up between multiple nations. Most noticeably, we have the British Virgin Islands and the US Virgin Islands. It's way more than just saying they are extra parts of their respective parent countries however. Even the names are just used for them aren't their official names. Officially the British Virgin Islands are just called the Virgin Islands and the US Virgin Islands are officially called the Virgin Islands of the United States. But for now we will just be using the names British and US Virgin Islands just for ease. The British Virgin Islands are an overseas territory which basically means they are remnants of the British Empire that have stayed under British control one way or another. Despite being a part of Britain that doesn't mean they are technically a part of the United Kingdom, while the US Virgin Islands are unincorporated territories of the United States, which means they are part of the US but aren't a part of any 50 states or have not been allowed to be a state, but kind of are, it's all confusing legal border stuff. These islands did not however always belong to Britain and the US, their initial inhabitants were natives to the islands. Over the years the islands have been fought over by the French, Spanish and Dutch, yet eventually they landed in control of the Danish, with Danish rule lasting until 1917 when the United States purchased the islands off them for 25 million dollars in gold, which according to an inflation calculator would be just shy of 500 million dollars today, so it's safe to say that the US valued the islands a fair amount. The British Virgin Islands on the other hand came under British control way before the US Virgin Islands came to the US. They weren't purchased by the British but were won after fighting once again with the French, Spanish and Dutch. The British Virgin Islands have been in British control since 1672. It was even the base of operation for one of Britain's most notorious pirates, Blackbeard. So that's why on a modern map we have the the US Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. But that's just the names of the territories. Each of the separate islands in both the British and US Virgin Islands have names too. The US Virgin Islands is made up of four main islands and around 50 smaller islands. The four main islands of the US Virgin Islands are called St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John and Water Island. Of course, three of those islands have religious names, St. John and St. Thomas being the most obvious. However, it appears we don't know which St. John and which Thomas they are named after exactly, though I guess we can speculate it was John and Thomas the Apostles. While there was no actual person called Saint Croix, it's believed to come from Santa Cruz, meaning Holy Cross. Water Island's name comes from the many natural pools of fresh water found on the island. The four main British Virgin Islands are called Tortola, Virgin Gorda, Jost van Dijk and Aniganda. Tortola is Spanish, meaning turtle dove. Jost van Dijk is a named after the real Dutch privateer Jost van Dijk. Aniganda's name comes from the Spanish term Tierra Anigada, which means flooded land due to how flat and low it is. And as for Virgin Gorda's name, well that quite literally means the fat virgin, as Christopher Columbus thought the shape of the iron looked like a reclining, beautiful, larger woman. While I have been focusing on the US and British Virgin Islands, there are a third set of Virgin Islands, these being the Spanish Virgin Islands, which approach primarily just the two islands of Culebra and Vieques. They are also known as the Puerto Rican Virgin Islands as they are both a part of Puerto Rico which in turn is another unincorporated territory of the United States but the topic of Puerto Rico is definitely a video for another time. But that's the Virgin Islands, a lot of islands, a lot of history and of course a lot of names. The Virgin Islands were suggested by Klaus Jensen and thanks to their suggestion they will now be honoured as Name Explains patron saint of the Virgin Islands. Why not support Name Explain on Patreon? Patron 2. Just $1 a month earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere for the Tuesday Patron Saint video. And of course, a huge thank you to all my patrons. These Tuesday videos would not be possible without the support of everyone who donates every month on Patreon. Even just $1 a month helps out in a huge way and gets you exclusive patron rewards. Thank you.